this is Prabha Varma here with my next video on how to find the median of a grouped frequency distribution. But before I find median, what we need to first understand is the table columns in case of finding the median of a group frequency distribution. Now as always in the question you will be given the class intervals and you will be given the frequency. The median doesn't involve a number of columns. You just have to make one more column of CF. CF means the cumulative frequency. Now the first question is how do we find this cumulative frequency? The method is after you've written the class intervals and the frequency of the data, the first CF is the first value of F only. That means for finding out the first CF, I copy down the frequency as it is. So 2 is the frequency of this data. 2 is also the cumulative frequency of that same data. Next, I add this 2 with this 5. So I write it, I write it as 5 plus 2 equal to 7. So the second CF is 7. Next, I add this 7 with the 6. So I get 7 plus 6 equal to 13. Next, I add this 13 to 4. So I write it as 13 plus 4 equal to 17. Next, 17 plus 2 equal to 19. And lastly, 19 plus 1 equal to 20. What I have done, I have, the first CF comes as it is. Then I add this CF with the next frequency. So 5 plus 2 gives me 7. Then I add this C, uh, CF with the next frequency. So 6 plus 7 gives me 13 and so on, so forth. Now the best way to check if you have found out all the cumulative frequencies correctly is that the total of your frequency and the last value of your CF should be same. Your total of your frequency that is sigma fi is coming as 20 and after calculating all the CF the last value of CF is coming as 20 so these two values should be equal. The last CF and this total of your frequency should always be equal only then you know that you have found out the cumulative frequency correctly. Now as in mode for median also we require to find the median class. Now the most important thing is how do we find the median class. To find the median class what we do is we first find out n. When I say n it is the total of all these observations that is sigma fi. So here I have written n equal to sigma fi the total was 20. So first step is I find out n, then I find out the value of n upon 2. So when I found out 20 upon 2, I got the value as 10. Next, I take this value of n upon 2, that is 10. I take this 10 and I go to the column of cf. I go to the column of cf and I find out that value of cf which is greater than this but nearest to this. So I am taking 10 going here. Now I start comparing 2 is less than 10, 7 is less than 10, 13 is nearest to 10 and greater to 10. So this becomes my median class. This becomes my median class as in the case of, as in the case of mode, writing the median class also carries marks. So over here I write my median class as 29 to 35. I write it as 29 to 35, right? So this becomes my median class. I repeat again, to find the median class, you will first find out the total of frequency, that is 20, divided by 2, you get 10. You take this value of 10 and go to the CF column. Here, you will select that CF, which is nearest and greater. The condition is, it has to be nearest to n by 2 and it has to be greater also. So 13 is nearest to 10 and greater than 10 also. And then you mark that particular class interval as your median class. And in your answer sheet, you will write down median class as 29 to 35 over here. Am I clear? Now, next I come down to the formula of median. The median is given by L plus N upon 2 minus CF, close the bracket, into H upon F. Over here also, L is a separate entity and this all is a separate entity. Now, what do, you, what do all these values designate over here? L is the lower limit of the class median class so over here my median class was 29 to 35 so l becomes 29 
so I write it as 29. H as every time is the class size. How do you find the class size? For every class interval, it is the upper limit minus the lower limit. So I subtract 23 minus 17 and I get the class size as 6. So H becomes 6. Then it, CF is what? The cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. That means this was my median class. The class above it, I take that value of CF. So my CF becomes 7. And frequency F is the frequency of the median class. So my median class was 29 to 35. The frequency was 6. So this becomes 6. Is that clear? Now I put the values in this formula. The value of L is 29. My n by 2, my n was 20, so n by 2 becomes 10. So I replace the value of n by 2 as 10. Then I have in the formula CF, my value of CF was 7, so I replace it by 7. The value of frequency was 6, so I replace it as 6. And the class size is again 6, I replace it as 6. 6 gets cancelled out, I get 29 plus 3, that becomes 32. Now again, the same logic is applicable here also as in case of mode. Your median will always lie inside your median class. I've got the median as 32. So when I say it will lie inside the median class, that means the median cannot be less than 29 and it cannot be greater than 35. Under no circumstances can it go outside this class. So this is one of the best ways of checking if what you have calculated is right or wrong. I have got my median as 32 for this particular data and 32 is undoubtedly lying inside my median class. So I hope the entire method of finding out the median from group data is clear to all of you. Thank you.